Today we're going to talk about limits. Um, so we have this graph, and this is a rational function, which you looked at probably in Algebra 2, um, and maybe advanced math. Uh, so we have f of x equals 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 divided by x squared minus 9. And it says we have a hole in the graph at negative 3, 7, 6. Now, what we're just going to start with is what limits are, what, what we're really saying. So we're going to look at some stuff that you might have seen in um, pre-cal or advanced math, sometimes in Algebra 2. What this statement says is as x approaches negative infinity, the graph of f of x approaches what? So if we're looking at the graph, x is our left and right horizontal movement. As x is approaching negative infinity, means if we took this graph and we're following it going towards negative infinity, so our x values are going to negative infinity this way, what is our graph doing? Well, our graph is going up, and then it is kind of flattening out. And notice we have a horizontal asymptote here. So that's a boundary line for our graph. So that means this graph of f of x is going to go, keep going up, but then it's going to just kind of level off at that horizontal asymptote, so at the value of y equals 2. Now in calculus, the way we would word it, the same thing, is the limit as x approaches negative infinity notice the similarity of f of x is 2. Okay, so the next statement says as x approaches positive infinity, the graph of f of x approaches what? Alright, so looking towards positive infinity. So x approaching positive infinity is going this way. But what's the graph doing? Well, that's over here. The graph is going down, but then it again approaches that horizontal asymptote. So it's approaching 2. So the limit as x approaches positive infinity of f of x is also 2. As x approaches negative 3 from the left, Okay, so x values, x-axis, approaching negative 3 from the left side. What is the graph doing? So this is what the x's are doing. So the graph is starting out way over here, and it's approaching negative 3. What y value is that approaching? Well, that hole is right there, so that's the y value that we're approaching is 7, 6. We would say that in calculus notation as the limit as x approaches negative 3. Oh, how am I going to tell somebody from the left? Oh, I'll just put a minus sign from the negative direction of f of x is 7, 6. Oh, what if we're approaching negative 3 from the right? So here's the x values approaching negative 3. Here's the graph approaching that same point, and it's approaching 7, 6 as well. So to say that I'm coming from the right side, well, let's say we're coming from the positive side. As x approaches 3 from the left, so, x values approaching 3 from the left, do, 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 do. so approaching to there. What's the graph doing? Well, the graph is going down. Oh, it, what's it going to do here? Well, it's not going to turn around or anything. It's going to keep going and keep going. So, it's going to keep going down and down and down all the way to negative infinity. 
So in calculus, we would say that the limit as x approaches positive 3 from the left is going to negative infinity. Is it ever really going to get there? No. Sort of like even here, is it ever really getting there? No, there's a hole there. Doesn't matter. We're only talking about what the graph is approaching. As x approaches 3 from the right, the graph of f of x approaches, okay, so from the right side. Choo -choo 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 -choo. So what's the graph doing as we go this way? Well, the graph is going up. It's going to positive infinity. And it's fine if you put a plus there to say positive infinity. I tend to like to do that. Coming from the right means we're coming from the positive direction. Based on what we've seen, how would you informally define what the value of the limit represents in terms of the graph? Well, I would say that the limit as x approaches some value represents the y value the graph approaches as x approaches a. Now, sometimes a limit may not really exist. And so let's talk about that. Limit existence theorem states the limit as x approaches some value of a of f of x exists if and only if the limit as x approaches a from the left equals the limit as x approaches a from the right and both of those equal some value l. Um, let's say an l is a real number. If both of those things are true that if we look from the left and we look from the right and we're both approaching some real number, if that's true, in this case, we would say that the limit as x approaches some value of f of x equals that y value. So let's look at some examples of when that would happen. So the first one, sample one, the limit as x approaches to, and that negative sign means from the left, so we're coming in this way. What's the graph doing? Well, the graph is going uphill. It's going to keep, keep, keep going to infinity and beyond. Well, maybe just to infinity. Okay, let's go from the right side. Oh, it's going up, 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 up. Now, what is the y value at f of 2? That's an interesting thought. What is the y value when x is 2? So what is f of 2? Well, it doesn't exist. There's an asymptote there. Now, does the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x exist or not? Well, 
the one from the left and the one from the right are the same thing. But is it a real number? No. So I would say that the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x does not exist because although the limit as x approaches 2 from the left equals the limit as x approaches 2 from the right, they do not equal, do not equal a real number. Example 2. We got a new graph. Coming into 2 from the left side. So watching the graph. Doo -doo -doo -doo. From the left side, we're going to positive 2. From the right side, positive 2. What is f of 2? That's the y value when x is 2. Now that point is actually down here. It's negative 3. Does the limit as x approach 2 exist or not? Well, yes, the limit as x approaches 2 from the left equals the limit as x approaches 2 from the right. Therefore, the limit as x approaches 2 just from any direction is 2. Now notice that is not the same as the point that exists. The limit is where the graph is heading to. Think of it as if I was covering up the line right there. Where do you think the graph is going to go? Well, we think it's going to 2. There's a hole there, but that's where the graph is trying to get to. Okay, next one. The limit as x approaches 2 from the left. So from the left side, we're going up, we go to 3. From the right, oh, negative 3. What is f of 2? What is the y value when x is 2? Well, that's that point right there. That's 3. Does the limit overall exist? Well, this is an easy one. It's, it's going two different places. So, the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x does not exist because why? Well, because they're going in two different directions. I would say that the limit as x approaches 2 from the left does not equal the limit as x approaches 2 from the right. So, based on what you've seen so far, does f of a have to be defined in order for it to exist? So I'll do one of them, and I want you to do one. Um, so in both graphs, f of a should be undefined. But in one graph, the limit should exist, while in the second one, it shouldn't. So let's see. I could do something like, okay, my graph goes here. Put a hole there. It's undefined. So in here, f of a is undefined. 
and there's not a point there. But the limit does still exist. And we could use like the first one for another example, the other one. Okay. So let's look at some exponential functions. Below is a table, whoops, I'm sorry. It's a table of um, exponential functions. You use the table to find the limits. Okay, so what about using a table? So if I'm thinking about this, if I'm going to negative infinity with my x values, let's look at what's happening. So I'm going towards negative infinity for x's. So negative 1, negative 3, negative 5, negative 9. What's happening with the y values? 3, 9, 33. 513, that looks like it's going to keep going. So I would say it's going to infinity. It's going to keep getting bigger. Now one thing that's good to know about an exponential function, let's talk about that real quick. Is it going to have holes in it? No. Um, is it going to have asymptotes? Well, it's going to have a horizontal asymptote, but no vertical asymptotes. This exponential function, if we really think about what's happening, it's starting off really big, and then it's going to go, let's see, okay, so it's going to do something like this, and it keeps going on. It's not going to have any holes or anything weird, so the limit is going to actually exist everywhere. When x is negative 3, it's going to be at whatever point that is, so it is 9. Um, the limit as x approaches 1, well, it's easy to see. It's right there. It's 1.5. Now, when x approaches positive infinity, what are my y values doing? So, here we go. 33, 9, 3, 1.5, 1 1.125, 1 1.002. What do you think is happening? It's going to have that horizontal asymptote. It's going to approach 1. Now, a rational function. Rational functions can have vertical asymptotes and holes. So you have to be a little bit more careful here. Let's see. The limit as x approaches negative infinity. Well, let's see. Well, that's already at negative 1,000. So I'm feeling that it's probably leveling off or something, right? Level off, all of a sudden it went from 2001 to 1.002. I think it's leveling off at 1. The limit as x approaches negative 1 from the left, this way. So is it 1.002, then all of a sudden it's at 2001, and then it's undefined. I'm thinking to myself, there must be a vertical asymptote there. So it's going up on that side. From the right side, what's happening? Ooh, negative 1,000? Oh, that, that must be it's going down there. Must have a vertical asymptote right here. This side of the graph is going up. This side of the graph is going down. The limit as x approaches 2. It didn't say from the left to the right. It's right here. What does it look like? Well, this side's going to 0.333. This side's going 0.334. So I'm going to say approximately 0.333 is one third. The limit as x goes to in positive infinity of f of x. So this way. 0.334.998. I have a feeling it's going to 1. And the last one, let's see. The limit as x approaches negative 1. So this way it was going to positive infinity. This way it's going to negative infinity. So does not exist because the limit 
as we go from the left does not equal the limit as we come from the right.